Guys, I wanna share with you a cool niche that I wasn't sure would actually work for this model. I was honestly, like, it was more of a test, but it's worked fairly well. I'm pretty excited about it for a couple of different reasons, and I just wanna share it, okay? And, and by the way, I know a lot of people, when I share stuff like this, it's like, well, why, why would you share your niches? Like, why, wouldn't you wanna keep those yourself? Guys, there's so many cities out there, right? There are so many cities out there, number one, that, I could never, even if I wanted to go vertical in, in one of these niches, I could never touch all the cities, okay? That's number one. But number two, like my game is very simple. My game is I wanna add value to you that's watching this because I know if I add enough value to you for free, you're gonna buy something that I sell at some point, okay? That's my game. That's just the candid answer. So instead of me being the guy that's like, yeah, I got these crazy secret niches and I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you everything. I'm gonna be the opposite. Instead of me being the guy that's like, here's the carrot, come over here and I'll show you the rest. I'm gonna give you everything, okay? I'm gonna give you everything. I'm gonna give you the best stuff. Now, only reason I'm sharing that is because I know people are thinking, why would you share this niche? Because you should keep it yourself. Now, I'm the opposite, I don't think that. I think you should share everything because information is a commodity. But nonetheless, neither here nor there, let me share the niche, okay? So uh, a year and some change ago, I read a book that uh, was really good and it's a book called Tiger Woods. Actually, it's called Tiger. It's about Tiger Woods. And I was at this point in my life where I, I loved, I've always kind of loved to work, but I needed something that was different than work. And my, my wife was telling me this and my project manager was telling me this, like, yo, you've got to figure something else out because you're too high strung. And so I read this book called Tiger and it got me hooked, right? And I played golf a little bit, never played it in high school, but I played a few rounds here and there. But this book, because of the, 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 I don't know if it was just Tiger and his legacy, if it was the author, but I got super excited about golf. And next thing you know, I was spending thousands of dollars on golf and here we are. Okay. So that same last year, about a year ago now from where I'm, when I'm filming this, um, I decided I was going to start taking lessons. So I went and it, by the way, it's kind of a humbling experience as an adult going and taking lessons for something, right? Cause you think of being a kid, but I'm a grown man. I'm 30 years old and I'm, I'm calling up instructors saying, Hey, I want to take lessons. And, uh, by the way, anyone that likes golf, I definitely encourage you to go get lessons cause it's been awesome. Now I'm not that good, but just every time you go and seeing yourself improve, that's what's fun. Okay. So anyway, I start taking lessons. We're not talking about golf here. The only thing I wanted to share is I started taking lessons and as I'm taking lessons, as is the case with anything, I start thinking, wonder if I could generate leads for golf lessons. That's an interesting niche. And I started going through it. I'm like, well, probably won't work because of this, probably won't work because of that. But you know what? I'm gonna just send it. And so what I did is I did the research, I did my homework, I looked at the market, and it was absolutely incredible how few people, how few websites were actually trying to rank for this. So I built a website, and within a couple of weeks, it was ranked. And guess what? I am getting leads already for golf lessons. My biggest fear was people wouldn't click on it, wouldn't put their information in because it didn't have a specific name or a specific brand. It was just a general golf lesson site but I was wrong. We got a lot of leads in the beginning. We're still getting a lot of leads. Now, to be 100% candid, I have not taken the time to find somebody. I've talked a little bit uh, with it, uh, with the guy that's giving me the lessons about taking these leads, but he's gone half the year because he hates the heat. And so it doesn't really work for him because he's only here half the year. But uh, neither here nor there, I just wanted to share with you this kind of a cool niche idea. I don't know what's gonna happen. I am gonna get a client for it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. I may, I might just go and do five to 10 of these, but I wanted to share with you that this is kind of a cool niche idea. The thing that's cool about this is I know you're like, well, it's not high ticket. Yeah, but it is because it's not like you just buy one lesson. Most people like me, I bought a pack of five, right? And that was 500 bucks, whatever maybe 700 and then I bought another pack of 500, okay? And so as long as you get with somebody that's good, people are gonna keep buying packages of lessons. So it's one of those things, it's kind of like house cleaning, cleaning. 
It's not just the 200 bucks that you're gonna get once. You're gonna keep that client over and over and over because somebody that does golf lessons typically is gonna to, going to wanna to continue to get better. So when you're pitching the deal, when I'm pitching the deal, I'm gonna be looking at the lifetime value of a customer, not just at the one lesson or the one package of lessons as I drop the price and as we come up with a flat fee. So guys, don't be afraid to try niches. I believe in going into boring niches that work. However, with that said, if money isn't something that, you know, it, it's not really, really like deal breaker, I also think it's kind of fun to test out some new niches. And you know what? I look at the downside. I'm like, the downside is I waste a couple hundred bucks. The upside is I found a niche that I've never heard of anybody else in all the time I've done Rank and Rent in six years talk about golf lesson lead generation. So that is why I'm going to do it. There's a cool niche idea for you guys. Keep them coming and we'll see you on the next video.